Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So there's been this trend here on YouTube going on. Um, I don't really know who came up with the trend, but everyone has been doing it right now. So I was like, why not, girl? So basically, it's all about watching someone else's makeup tutorial and trying to follow along and trying to copy the techniques and everything and the look and everything. So I asked you guys on Instagram if you would rather see me follow along to, um, a Nikki Tutorials or Patrick Star makeup tutorial and um, most of you guys voted for Nikki Tutorials so that's what we're going to do. Um, so I picked one of her makeup tutorials and I have it right here on my laptop. I'm going to link it in the description box down below. I love Nikki Tutorials. She's the queen. Sorry I look dead right now but I'm very sick and tired and um, I hope I will look as flawless as she does by the end of this video honestly so before we get into this video if you're not subscribed please subscribe and don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and follow me on all my social media platforms i'm only on instagram snapchat and twitter and they're all done by gg so yeah if you want to see me transform into no i'm not transforming into her it, whatever uh, please keep on watching Alright guys, so um, the video I chose is um, is going to be linked in the description box down below. Make sure you go check it out. And um, let's get it started. Oh my God. <laughs> it is honestly taking this like a long time to go down. Mm. Hello people! Hey oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Today I'm doing a tutorial. Well, so... And I haven't gotten Girl, I need help that. done in about a year now, so I felt like it was time for some more help again. <laughs> and usually when I get that help that I need, um, it only takes two to three days for swelling to go down. But mama, I'm still looking like Kris Jenner on that vacation. I am no, aware of the fact that it is pretty intense. Of course it is. I feel like a blowfish, but a cute one, because I got my collectible on. So today that inspired me. Okay, I don't have the prime. By the way, all the products I'm going to be using are going to be linked in the description box also. So I don't have the primer that she's using, but I think um, the Professional Pearl Primer, I have the sample size, guys. I'm broke. So, um, so I think this does the same thing. Okay. This smells so good. I love the Professional. Oh. oh my god, what are pores? Honestly. Through using this Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydrocharged Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Try, try and say that after one of these. Okay. So she went with a prep priming setting sp spray from Urban Decay. I don't have that either. I don't have anything. So I'm going to go with the MAC Prep, Prep and Prime Fix Plus. It has the words Prep and Prime too, so I'm going with the mini size also. She sprayed a lot, so I'm going to do that. Please. Watching Tati's we need video that. Where James Charles did her makeup. I'm gonna go with the Master Camo um, Corrector Color Correcting Concealer. I don't usually do that, but um, okay. Okay, so I have the concealer on. So she applied a, the Hourglass Stick Foundation and she applied a lot as you can see. Um, I don't have that either so I'm going to be using the Max Factor um, Pan Stick which happens to be my new all-time favorite foundation. It 
it's full coverage. I'm gonna apply it the way she did. It's a full coverage foundation and it has a dewy finish. It's not matte or anything. And I love that, honestly. And I'm gonna be blending my foundation in with my Real Technique sponge. Your sponge and then buff this all in. And I just love the finish of this foundation, you guys. Oh god. My favorite tart shape tape, I know. You're of course, tart shape tape. Favorite. Everyone loves this. Oh my god, I just can't. Talking about this, but babies, it is nice. I am shook by the courage of Alright, so um she applied the tart shape tape on her under eyes. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna be applying the ColourPop No Filter Concealer on my under eyes only. Which is very weird for me. So she's only setting her under eyes with setting powder, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna be using the RCMA No Color Powder on my under eyes only. I look crazy. Oh, oh, okay, so she's already priming her eyes with MAC Paint Pot and she already did her brows off camera, so um, I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. One eternity later. Alright guys, so I did my brows. Um, I primed my eyes with some concealer and let's see what she gonna do now. For the crease, I'm first going into the brand spanking new Royal Peach Palette by oh. Kylie Cosmetics and going in with the color Sorbet first. And with a bigger blending brush, I'm just softly defining the... Alright, so, so she's going with the Kylie peach whatever palette. I'm gonna be using the Morphe um, 25A eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna be um, you I'm gonna be using a similar shade. It's like what what the fuck happened? How the fuck did that happen now? Okay. So I'm gonna be trying to go with like this the similar shades from this palette. How the fuck is she doing that? No transition shade? Oh, this, oh, oh, okay, okay, I see what she's doing right here. So she's focusing it on her outer V and she's dragging it in ever so slightly. Okay, so she's now going for a more um, soft brown shade to define her crease. You, to define her outer V even more. So I'm going in with the shade from the same palette. And um, what is she doing? What is, what is Homegirl doing? Okay. So she's kind of pressing it in her outer, in the outer portion. Well, now she hopped into the Jouer palette. I'm gonna stick to my Morphe palette. She's now using a shade, um, a brown, also a brown shade to define the outer V even more. So, um, so I think that's what we gonna do. So, um, Okay. So now she's using a shimmery shade um, on her lid. So um, I'm still um, using the 25A palette. It is glam and it has shine, but it is 
nothing over intense and dramatic. You want to meet that color right up against the brown. Uh -oh. This looks nice and soft, unlike me. <clears throat> For that extra bit of zhuzh, I'm going to take this Starlit Powder by Makeup Forever and applying this to the center of the lid only. And this can be applied super crazy intense, oh. but when you use a thin I found this, um, the Balm Over Shadow Sex Pots. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what the shade name is. I'll try to um, I'll link it down below. So she's pressing it only in the center of her lid. So... Oh, this is similar. Okay. So she's using an angled um, liner brush and a dark brown um, shadow from Jouer and she's smoking out her her lash line. I need a mirror. Where is my mirror? Alright, so this is new. I don't usually do that with my looks. Mm. All right, so that didn't do much. <laughs> and intensifying that some more using black. Oh, and now she's using some black shadow on the outer V. Okay, where did her bake go? Did I miss something? Her, her, the powder on her, under her eyes is not there anymore. And I've been baking for almost an hour and um, she didn't bother telling me to wipe it away. Okay, girl. <coughs> So um, she's using the same liner brush and the same um, brown shadow that we use for liner and um, she's um, placing it on her lower lash line. that I don't have any brown eyeliners I only have black and white and nude so I'm not I'm gonna skip this step we're gonna look just like her so she's already highlighting her inner corners girl you're so quick um what did she use um I'm just I'm just gonna use anything it's either she's very quick or I'm missing something. Time to wrap up these eyes in some lashes. These are the New Bounce Bombay lashes. Mm -hmm. Alright, so she added some lashes and mascara. I'm gonna do that off camera. Uh, I don't have any lashes, so I'm just gonna apply some mascara. I don't really need the lashes anyways. So I'm just going to apply some mascara and finish off the second eye off camera and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so the eyes are done I think, I don't know what she's going to do next, but I'm loving this soft look. See, I don't need no lashes, girl. So um, let's see what she's going to do next. Come on and I feel way better, this cold can suck my left toe. What I'm going to do is contour and we all know that the Jenners and the Kardashians love their contour. So today I'm going to go into my Makeup Geek Contour Palette. Okay. So she's using a very light contour shade for her contour. Um, it will be a highlight shade for me, but 
I'm gonna be using the Huda Benefit Bronzer and the Sigma F90 brush, which um, she's using, and I'm just gonna dip my brush into this. Oh. I haven't contoured with a fan brush in for such a long time. And um, let's cut the cheek. So she just did it like this. Wow. I need to start contouring like this again. James Trick worked for me as well. I'm gonna go in with this Dose of Colors shader brush and I hope I'm praying. I always like to contour it right here. And I'm so on. It's still on. Right here to give you a little bit more of a button nose. Okay, that's a little much, I know. And then also right here. Right there. Right there. That's it. That's what I do. And then I wipe half of that away. <laughs> All right, let's see if it does end up taking away the foundation and all the hard work. Oh my god, I think it's working. All right, now I'm gonna bronze up my. No. She didn't contour her nose like all the way. She just did like. You guys saw. I'm going to be using a similar brush to what she used and um, so she basically put it right here. Girl, you have a perfect nose, we don't... This might not work for me but um, so she just put some here and I do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was way much, too much bronzer. How is that contouring my nose? I don't get it. So she went in and went in with her powder brush. Oh, I'm gonna go in, back in with my beauty blender and um, just soften that. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. A little bit more using this right here. This is by Verdial. It's the Insta Glam Compact Deluxe Bronzing Powder Number Two, and this Morphe E3 brush. And I'm kind of gonna use it as bronzer and blush because. Chris gonna be going in with the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Sculpting Blush Palette, and I'm gonna be taking the bronzer um, in this palette and using it as my bronzer and blush and I'm just gonna go like BAM Alright so she's cleaning her contour with some um, setting powder, loose setting powder and um, a sponge. I'm just gonna go back in with my sponge and um, how is she doing it? Contour. Oh, she's pressing it. So she's going and she's just pressing it like so. Um, I look like I have a beard on. <coughs> All right, what's next? Use powder and you apply it right underneath your contour to make it sharper, but mostly to clean up this area and get rid of any shadows or any mess. And while we leave this here, 
doing its thing. It's time to glow. Thank God. Now, sadly enough, fortunately for me, Chris loves her glow, but it is subdued and 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 classy. It's 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 a beautiful glow that looks like she is glowing from within. We so don't it's want not hey moon, see me all the way here from Earth. Here I, I am. That. So sadly for me, uh, I'm gonna have to. Tone it down a little. It's fine. So I'm going to go back into that Jouer palette. And this color right here looks perfect to highlight it. Yes. Exactly. So it has given me a lovely, lovely look. Alright. So I'm going to be using the same um, Estee Lauder palette. And I'm going to be using the highlighting luminizer shade from it. Which is very similar to the shade she's using. And um, it's a very... And it's a very natural highlighter, so we won't be glowing today. It might look blinding on camera, but honey in real, but honey in real life, it looks like I have nothing on. Blinding, which I know. Sad, sad day, but you know, sometimes it's today. Nice to go sad day. Now she's highlighting, highlighting her nose. And where's my nose highlighting brush? Here we go. And she's using the same shadow. Um, This nose contour is no. Just like the mm -hmm. cheeks and not as delicious. Same. Now, one thing the Kardashians and the Jenners all love is a blinding Cupid's bow. Um, so I'm gonna I go into that. this Tarte Pro Glow to Go palette. I'm gonna go into this color first. So we're really gonna blind that Cupid's bow because they. I'm gonna use the same shade because it's the same color almost, and I'm gonna blind them. Keep it slow. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. Mm. So she's wiping the bake off. Alright, and this contour is looking sick. Lips. I've seen Chris wear a lot of lip, but she kind of alternates between matte and uh, super, super glossy, but sometimes it's like a nude, sometimes it's a light brown, sometimes it's a bright red. So she loves her lip products. She created Kylie Jenner, so yeah. and she loves it. So I have these new hourglass mm -hmm. lipsticks right here, and I went for the most, uh, like, like the brownie nudes. So we have her dash. Alright, so she used like a terracotta nude for her lips. Um, I found this Jeffree Star of Allure liquid lipstick in the shade Nathan from the Star Family Collection, which is very similar to what she's wearing, I think. I suppose it's the same shape, but... We're getting somewhere. Alright, is it is this set or uh, I think she's gonna have gloss. so much lip gloss, but one oh, thing in mm -hmm. particular, they put like a, a gloop of gloss kind right of like here. This look. Just a little bit above the cupid's bow, so just a little bit above it, and that is gonna give you the optical illusion of having fuller lips. It is a little bit crazy. I feel like it is cool for our photos where the like you can definitely see like a goop of gloss chilling on your cupid's well. But, you know, we're doing it, because we're doing it. We're gonna she went for the Jouer um, Skinny Dip um, gloss, which is kind of a gold gloss, I think. So, um, I don't have that either. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever um, 
Artist Plexi Gloss in the shade 100P, which is um, a gold gloss too. And it's the sample size. All right, yay. That is the Kardashian Jenner mouth. And that guys concludes my Kris Jenner, or is oh. it Chloe? Because I- She's done, I'm just gonna put my hair down. Um, Cause I was looking like a mess and I'm gonna put my wig. Have I ever looked messier? Yes. All the time, I suppose. Anyways guys, so um, this is the final look. Do I look like Nikki Tutorials? I kind of do. Um, um, let me believe that. <laughs> no? Alright. I'm just gonna... You know, I tried my best. You know, I wasn't... Uh, I'm just... I just tried my best, guys. And it was fun. It was kind of a challenge because her techniques are so... Um, different from my techniques, but she's she's amazing. She's a, she's an amazing makeup artist, and um, yeah, shout out to her. If you're watching this girl, hey, what's up? So yeah, guys, this video is sadly over. Oh, uh, um, I'm just gonna go take off my makeup and go to sleep because I'm so tired and um, very sick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm gonna catch you on the next one.